Hello guys, welcome to another time out with me on the channel. My name is Alec Godwin if you're here for the first time and today we are updating the awesome Mini Pro 12K. Uh, there are two reasons why I'm making this update. Number one, to keep the rig lighter for which I'm introducing the Condor Blue base plate and I think it's the same for the 6K Pro and the um, 12K Pro. But I got this for the 6K Pro. It's nice. I do have other options. I have a couple of uh, base plate options for the 6K Pro, which is fine. So I thought about, you know, I want, you know, maximum attention, anything to make this one lighter. Um, I would love to switch it up. So I'm switching up the base plate from the 6K Pro uh, and then uh, I'm using it for the also 12K so I can get a lighter rig setup. And this aluminum lightweights are just perfect for it. Um, along with the dovey tail, um, which I will talk to you guys about in a second. Now, let me tell you a quick story how I was gonna um, shoot, uh, cover the wedding event for my niece, like a surprise package. And I just got on this camera. And when I rig up this set and I, you know, put my um, battery on it and I, I drove like an hour to the location. I, uh, by the time I got there, the battery was dead. Actually, the camera turned on and drained the battery, which is a problem uh, which happens with the Ursa 12K. Um, I don't know if it happens with uh, generally, but um, when we introduced this um, base play uh, adapter for the uh, VMAT battery, it was um, connected into the camera. So I think it, um, it's between the, I mean, they are all Blackmagic products. So I think it's a Blackmagic issue either from the camera or from the device adapter. It should have gotten the you know, power switch on or off. And I think Blackmagic, um, if Blackmagic can hear me now, that would be a good option to have a power switch on the, the uh, adapter, VMAT adapter plate so that we can switch it off and on and not allow power surprise us just like it did me. And it's happened a couple of times. So I got this um, VMAT battery, which I already had for a long time. It only became useful. And now we see it has the option to power on and off and decide when the VMAT battery is being actually used. So this is what you know needs to be implemented on this uh, Blackmagic VMAT so that uh, we can have a, uh, uh, better experience um, yeah and it doesn't really add much weight much uh, size to the whole unit it still looks pretty much the same and um, you know and whatever weight I added it's compensated for the change of this uh, base plate that I already made because the previous one from uh, um, Pro M was a lot heavier and um, the next thing I'm, I'm, I'm gonna introduce is um something to actually get the um the one this this product from tilter and it comes in to actually get some clearance uh, with the top handle which is the star stop uh, grip the side grip uh the black magic side grip so this cheap um tilter arm it's about 23 dollars uh, i'm going to use it to just take out the side unit so you can go um, not a shoulder rig setup, not not for holding uh, during shoots, really. It's still more like a tripod uh, position, just to push, um, have something to push the button and uh, get the camera, you know, running instead of um, looking for the side uh, button um, to press the record on the side or on the screen, to, uh, uh, on the screen because the, it actually that actually shakes the camera. But this one is. Uh, sturdy enough to push on and it wouldn't shake the camera and it wouldn't even take much effort to push it down which I like 
So now I have clearance um, because I'm going to be adapting my um, side, um, probably as adapting my side uh, transmitter on this unit on this side uh, via this um, small rig uh, holder. Next thing is the monitor mount and I will talk about it later. I'm going to use it for the monitor and I'm always pref I always prefer the NATO rail hold to um, um, a shoe, shoe mount so I don't want to do a shoe mount. Now let's go to the base plate um, to the dovetail from Condor Blue. The to dovetail from Condor Blue is pretty simple just it's ready to go. It's um, got uh, um, some uh, grip at the end to slide it in easily and when you when it's in it's got a pin to hold it in place so you push down that pin to take it off that's all easy to set up easy to slide around and yeah i showed you the buttons on the side before to lock down it to lock it down now once again this uh, battery i can always swing it um, um, back and forth now here's the transmitter unit and i'm mounting it on the side and it stays in place there and now i have clearance uh, from the hand grip now to power up the system using this uh, new vmat battery plate uh, is this nice rig um, connector or power cable that i got uh, a while ago when i didn't know i didn't need it but it turns out i need it because the camera comes on anyway so um yeah that's uh, that's about the cheapest you could find out there and it works great and I don't think any problems come in it. Um, I can always go with the smaller batteries to keep it light if I want to. I got a couple of these small batteries and um, which of course I did a review before. Now for the top handle, uh, I'm going to go to the middle of the, of the setup, the middle of the top plate, not at the usual place. You see, I have my monitor with that monitor mount uh, from... Uh, from um, Nice Rig, I think, um, or, or U Rig, and that's uh, a NATO rail holding the monitor. So now I have to mount the top handle in the middle of the of the plate. Now I have another uh, mount which you've seen me use on the monitor before. I'm going to use that on the um, other device, the receiver of the transmitter, which is my Moman, already reviewed on the channel moment uh, adapt uh, transmitter and receiver so just in case i'm doing everything on the camera like i'm using my hdmi set setup uh, i carry both transmitter and receiver on the, the actual camera unless i'm using an external um, of course an external or uh, from the camera rig external monitor from the rig okay so um but it turns out my feel what broke on me and that mount where I used to mount the transmitter got broken. So at the end of the day, it you know it's looking funny. So I had to switch it up to my new 7H, uh, seven inch uh, monitor from Desview, already reviewed on the channel. Uh, link will be here, but you can check it out. It's very super bright, you know. All already the same thing, a lot brighter than the the free world. And uh, I think it's a better setup now than it was. I guess I can't rely on the um, transmitter mount that used to be on the back because now I know it breaks. So that's no longer going to be a deciding factor for me. So if I power up the system, every battery, every device, everything can hold them with their batteries. And if we turn it on, the setup will look just like this. Um, this moment um, transmitter really takes the small, actually, actually depend on the small batteries, you know, to power them for a couple of hours, maybe four hours, you know, and it's really light and which is good, you know. Uh, so I can depend on that for a very long time, a very long time, uh, which keeps the rig light. And this monitor too, surprisingly with this 2600 nits super bright, uh, ultra brightness, it lasts a long time. It, you know, you could power it with the smallest batteries and it still works, but I just have the, um, a 971 here. Now, if we want to check out the um, the um, weight, right now I'm having 17 plus, which is like the same thing, 
the same weight with my black magic rigged up setup so which is not bad i can do this with handheld i can use the my cheap knockoff uh, easy rig um, also reviewed on the channel uh, you can check that out but it's a comfortable setup and that i can you know have a better grip to like move around i, I can feel that sturdy um you know view of shots so this is the update to the rig uh, let me know if you've experienced any of these issues i've uh, uh, let me know if you've experienced this issue i just mentioned uh, with the power going on and off um with the power coming on on its own and um, the record button coming on yes i did experience that once one time which confirms uh, uh, epic light media's observation and um, I did experience that one time but the power coming on back on it's been the major issue I've been um, experiencing but also watch out for my long-term uh, review of the Oso 12k I've been using it for a couple of months now I'm gonna make a formal review uh, about my experience with this camera so you might want to subscribe like subscribe and um, stay connected to, so we can see what uh, what's up in that video Thank you guys for watching, like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.